Are you struggling with Microsoft 365 Copilot, wondering where on earth do you get started? And why doesn't it appear like the next generation of Clippy to take over all of your work? Well, Copilot is certainly not Clippy, and it has ways that you can work with it which are really useful to understand. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you some exciting ways you can absolutely use today to automate your work save all important time you could spend going for that coffee with friends or even heading down the beach. Yes, there's definitely scenarios that you can employ to automate some of your emails. Identify what you need to focus on next in a really busy inbox and even take data and have it summarized in an email to your line manager. Just a few examples we'll show you today to get the most out of Copilot. And before we dive in, if you want to know what else you can do with Copilot, why not check out our top five Copilot prompts, link below. You can download and also use in Copilot. So let's head into Copilot and find out where we can save that all important time. So let's start in Outlook because we often have a long list of emails we have to look through every single day or week and focus on the priorities that are in our inbox. But can Copilot help us without going anywhere near Outlook by prioritizing the emails, setting due dates, and giving us a list to work from? Because Copilot can do exactly that, with the right prompt, of course. Let's head into Microsoft Teams, into Copilot Chat, otherwise known as Copilot Biz Chat. And I'm now giving Copilot to review the emails in my inbox and identify tasks in a handy table, including the relevant information. With that now done, Copilot will also review my inbox and begin to build out all of that task list. And we can see here we've got a number of different tasks to get sorted, all from individual emails. Now you'll see that some of the due dates are simply not specified because Copilot doesn't know when that task is due. And what we can also do is click on any of these references inside of the Copilot response to see the email to which it relates and find out further information. But alongside that as well, we can also ask more questions of Copilot. For example, can Copilot prioritize these tasks based on urgency? And here it's done exactly that. It's now sorting it by a due date. So we've taken a set of emails inside of your Outlook transformed it into a task list to get sorted and put it in due date order, all from a couple of sentences inside of BizChat. It's a great way to stay on top of all of your emails. And we also see different types of documents inside of Microsoft Word, legal agreements, contracts and proposals. But did you know that Copilot can also analyze different types of documents to provide insights? Now, of course, this doesn't replace any type of professional expertise such as legal assistance, which of course Copilot and even ourselves also recommend doing. But it's a great first start in reviewing certain types of document. So let's go ahead and open up Copilot inside of Microsoft Word. And here I'm gonna give Copilot a question. Analyze the terms and conditions within this non-disclosure agreement and identify the high risk conditions. Copilot has identified three clauses, which it could also possibly be further higher risk for ourselves. We can see clause eight, clause five, and clause six. And in clause eight, there are concerns with there being no limit on the financial amount to be payable if anything gets breached. But in this scenario, we can have Copilot help us by also suggesting a alteration to clause eight that may better suit our needs. Let's go ahead and add a prompt to ask Copilot to help us out. With our prompt added into Copilot, within a few seconds we can see the original clause out, but now we see a revised clause with a limit on the financial indemnity, and Copilot even explains why this is beneficial in the revised clause. So there you go, you can see that inside of Microsoft Word, yes, we can summarize documents, but actually analyzing them is even more powerful with the help of Copilot. And how long do you spend in Microsoft Excel reviewing data? Because Copilot can also help. In fact, here we've got survey data from Project Greenspace. 
The community themselves have provided feedback on what they think went well and what can also be improved. Wouldn't it be helpful if Copilot could further summarize this text-based data? And it absolutely can with the latest updates in Copilot. Let's go ahead, open Copilot on the right hand side and I'll ask it to summarize this data taken from our Project Greenspace community to highlight any patterns or further insights. And we can see in a few seconds that there was a general positive reception to the project, but there were some improvements around plant variety and improving maintenance and having the community more involved. So we've taken data from Excel and analyzed it in a few seconds, but surely we can do more. We absolutely can. Let's head back into Microsoft Teams and now let's also analyze the data, but this time inside of our prompt, I'm going to make sure that we identify the files we worked with. And to do that, I'll simply add the words from this, clicking the forward slash key, selecting files, and now we can select the spreadsheet that we're working with just a moment ago. And Copilot will now once again review the data and analyze it in a conversational way showing us even more data that's picked up from the spreadsheet and even around the age group analysis. Now, of course, you could go ahead and review this data in more detail, but you know what? I need to share this with my line manager and I don't have time to rewrite this into an email and Copilot instead can do it for us. Let's go ahead and add a prompt to write up a summary email to my line manager, giving them those key points. With that prompt now added into Copilot, we can see the summary has been generated for us. We can see here, we can just take this now and copy and paste it straight into Microsoft Outlook and get it sent to my line manager, taking data from Excel, summarizing it, understanding it, and even giving a summary email to my line manager just in a couple of minutes. And when you're creating documents, it's really hard sometimes to start with that blank piece of paper. How do you go ahead and start writing up your document, especially on a project or a piece of work? And that's where I believe Copilot can also really help. Let's go ahead and open the Copilot drafting dialog and give it a prompt here. Working on a strategic plan for project green space and I need a SWOT analysis completed for the project too. Let's go ahead and generate this with the help of Copilot. We can see in real time that Copilot takes this and creates us a document, including the SWOT analysis as well. Now, of course, what I would say is this is a great first start, but with Copilot, we can also make more changes. I may want to keep this version one, but actually for the strengths, I'd like a little bit more detail. So what we can easily do inside of Word is by selecting the Copilot icon is go ahead and make changes. I could now further expand to add additional strengths that I believe are also possible from the project. With our additional points added into Copilot, you'll see it can rewrite the strengths just beneath that, and I can also keep them again. So using Copilot to draft up a document can really help and get you started with a draft that you can refine, build on, and make even better. We can spend hours every month replying to short emails and Copilot can once again help us out. Let's go ahead and hit the reply button for Matthew. But at the bottom of the screen now with the help of Copilot, we can see there are already replies generated, all taken from the message thread itself. If I select this here for sure Matthew, it won't just add in those two words. Instead, generating an email that I can go ahead and send to Matthew which is much more professional than just saying sure. So in one single click, we've got an email you can send back to your colleague with the help of Copilot and save those all important minutes. And how many hours do we spend every single month reviewing files to see if you had the relevant detail in and then closing them and simply finding another file? Well, Copilot can now make that a lot easier for us. In this PowerPoint presentation here, there's over 20 slides of detail. I need a quick summary to see if it's the right file for me. Let's go ahead and simply ask Copilot to summarize this PowerPoint presentation. And in real time, you'll see inside of even a SharePoint or a Teams file, we also get a summary of that PowerPoint presentation. So I can understand that this is the right deck for me and work with it further. But what if I also need to make sure it definitely is the right file? 
or get the outputs without even opening up the file? Well, just select ask a question. On the right hand side, you can now give Copilot a question to also find out if the relevant answer was in that file. And by simply asking Copilot if this includes the audiences for our product, we can see on the right hand side, Copilot can summarize it from the presentation and give me the answer if I'm ever needing to go by that PowerPoint presentation. So you can ask questions of your files, be it Word, PowerPoint or more, get the right answers without even opening any single file. So there you go. You've got new ways to work with Copilot that your colleagues probably don't know anything about, which means you can employ these new Copilot tactics to automate your work, save that time and head down to the coffee shop or even the beach. I'd also love to know what you think Copilot has really helped with. If you've got some awesome prompts, why not share them in the comments and let the wider community know. I'm sure they'll appreciate that as well. And if you'd like today's video, hit that subscribe button and the like button because I really appreciate that personally. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.